Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday the 28th of July. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his house of prayer. And as we do so, we read from Psalm 119, beginning at verse 33. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. I shall keep it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for therein is my delight. Incline my heart to your testimonies, and not to unjust gain. Turn away my eyes, lest they gaze on vanities. O oh, give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant your promise, which stands for all who fear you. Turn away the reproach which I dread, because your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your commandments. In your righteousness, give me life. Let your faithful love come unto me, O Lord, even your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I answer those who taunt me, for my trust is in your word. O oh, take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for my hope is in your judgments. So shall I always keep your law. I shall keep it for ever and ever. I will walk at liberty, because I study your commandments. I will tell of your testimonies even before kings, and will not be ashamed. My delight shall be in your commandments which I have greatly loved. My hands will I lift up to your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. Remember your word to your servant, on which you have built my hope. This is my comfort in trouble, that your promise gives me life. The proud have derided me cruelly, but I have not turned aside from your law. I have remembered your everlasting judgments, O Lord, and have been comforted. I am seized with indignation at the wicked, for they have forsaken your law. Your statutes have been like songs to me in, my, in the house of my pilgrimage. I have thought on your name in the night, O Lord, and so I have kept your law. These blessings have been mine, for I have kept your commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A Song of the Blessed Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. We continue in Luke chapter 23. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, 
he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. When all the crowds who gathered there for this spectacle saw what had taken place, they returned home, beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching these things. And there was a good and righteous man named Joseph, who, though a member of the council, had not agreed to their plan and action. He came from the Jewish town of Arimathea and was waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then he took it down, wrapped it in a linen cloth and laid it in a rock-hewn tomb where no one had ever been laid. It was the day of preparation, and the Sabbath was beginning. The women who had come with him from Galilee followed, and they saw the tomb and how the body was laid. Then they returned and prepared spices and ornament, ointments. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He's come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children, forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Remember your promise of mercy to Abraham and his children forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we remember your promise of mercy. And you said to Abraham that his descendants would be as many as the stars in the sky or the sands on the seashore. And we recognise that we are part of his spiritual inheritance. We are part of that promise. We are children of God's promise. Grant us grace to have that sense of identity as being people that God died for. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we hold before God those who lead the nations, who have immense responsibility before God and human beings. Whatever they have been, Lord, guide them to a better place, inform their decisions and help them to bow their knee to you. We hold before God those for whom life is very difficult, those who have difficult decisions to make and who honestly do not know the right thing to do. We hold before God those who have difficult people to work with, those who suffer unfair treatment, unfair, unjust criticism, unappreciated work. We hold before God those who have difficult tasks to do and to face and fear that they may fail in them, those who have difficult temptations to face and who know only too well that they may fall to them if they try to meet them alone. We hold before God those who know they can be their own worst enemies. We hold before God those who are sad because someone they loved has died, and any who are disappointed in something for which they hoped very much. We pray for those who are in isolation. Pray that the Lord will support them especially, and grant them grace to have people to share with, offload to, to talk to, to enjoy. Above all, Lord, we pray that they will share themselves with you, knowing the more they share with you, the more support they will have. Almighty Lord and everlasting God, we beseech you to direct, sanctify and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of your laws, 
and the works of your commandments, that through your most mighty protection, both here and ever, we may be preserved in body and soul, through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May your day tomorrow be vibrant with joy. May you have the grace to notice things that bring a smile to your face and rejoicing to your soul. Whether you're in a valley or on a mountaintop, may you be blessed with a moment of beauty and hopefulness that lifts your spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.